Welcome back, everybody, to Pop Culture Conspiracy. I'm your host, T. How are we all doing today? In this video, I'm going to be talking about 21 Savage and Lotto. I totally don't think their relationship is real or authentic in the slightest. I think it's all a PR stunt. Let's talk in the comments. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to go ahead and get into it. Okay, so... I think that this is all a clout chase, especially on Lotto's part. She's the smaller artist. He's the bigger artist. She needs to come up more than he does, okay? I think Lotto is a clout chase and ask Karen. I do not think that she really loves 21 Savage. I think... 21 Savage has, again, been a bigger artist, and after he just sold his soul to Drake, he's definitely a good look for somebody like Lotto, who is newly signed to a major label, has been underground for a while, and has been trying to break into the industry for a while, and clearly now that she has broken into the industry, she is down to do any gimmick, any little antic that they need her to do. I've always said this about Lotto. I really have. You can go back and see my videos about um, female rappers, me giving my opinions. I said Lotto is one of those people. She's signed in, you know, where she is because she's a good industry puppet. She will do anything for fame and money and success. She's one of those kinds of people like she's a tool she'll let people use her and I think the industry told her like they did Meg when Meg first got signed you know they put Meg with Moneybag Yo half of us don't even fucking remember that over half of us most people forgot all about Meg and Moneybag Yo because it was such a little flighty quick in and out relationship because it wasn't real with lotto i think they're doing the most i think they're really really pushing this because it's creating conversation i think if meg and moneybag yo created more conversation they may have went harder with it but they definitely put a lot of spotlight on meg's other fuckery that was going on with with you know what's his name I know she was fucking on Trey songs, you know, that happened to make it to the internet. It was a lot of stuff with Meg kind of fucking around. And now look at all this shit with Tory Lanez. Like, the music industry will do anything to keep people in the media. It's all a machine. It's all a little system. And with Lotto, with her going so hard, hopping her ass on the internet, making these barefoot contessa ass meals for 21 average, it's all such a gimmick. Okay, they will do anything to keep their names in the media. And to be honest, 21 Savage, again, is not that um, he's popular, but he's not talented. Like, I'm going to say he's I don't think he's talented at all. I think he needs a little bit of this clout, too. You know, clearly, again, he him collaborating with Drake really helped take him up another level because 21 Savage without Drake would continue to kind of like phase out he is not on Lil Uzi's level but Lil Uzi also makes better music you know 21 chromosomes 21 average he is not really popping he's another one who will let the industry do whatever to him for fame and money he really doesn't have talent like that so people like Cardi B people like Lotto people like Offset people like 21 Savage like they have to do gimmicks and little antics to keep their name in the media and that's all we're seeing with this situation Donald Glover already told us on his show Atlanta how industry relationships work it is I scratch your back you scratch mine very transactional not rooted in real love I absolutely question the validity the validity of the tattoo that Lotto was sporting around with 21 Savage's uh, government name I'm like girl is that even real like you'll do anything for clout you'll do anything for social media um Something else that I think is a part of the gimmick with this is 21 Savage is legally married. I do believe he's really in love with that woman. He has children with her. I think that that is his real 
relationship i think he is a rapper who is trying to go further to feed his family to feed the family that he actually loves and thus he will get into a mysterious pr relationship with lotto to try to do that you know again he's trying to stay in america but also trying not to get deported trying to feed his family he's got a lot going on so this arrangement that him and Lotto has it works for both of them more than it doesn't because they never really are photographed together people kind of know about it because they wanted us to know about it but they're not gonna rock the boat too much because this person has an actual life and you know he can't so it kind of works and then when Lotto is ready to move on from it she can just act like she never knew him. She can act like it never happened. They don't really have pics together like that. Like, it is so PR. And also, with Lotto doing that song with him, like, when they were first kind of getting together, again, she needed that press. She needed that feature. It, this is so PR and so industry, it makes no sense. But on a bigger note... I think this just shows how desperate Lotto is. She is so desperate for fame and success in the rap game. She will allow herself to be labeled or seen as a home wrecker. And it's not a good move because people don't like home wreckers. And women in those situations tend to bear the brunt of the backlash because society has different standards and expectations for women than, than they do men. So, yeah, she's going to be ridiculed more than he is. I don't see people talking shit about 21 Savage. I don't really see him getting much backlash. I see her getting most of the backlash. And I think part of that, too, is because she is the one doing most of the gimmicks and antics on the Internet. But it's also because she doesn't have a feature with Drake. She also didn't get the Nicki feature that she wanted. She got her Cardi feature that has done something for her it has you know blown up for her to an extent but she's also not going on tour with cardi you know cardi is a failing artist herself to be honest i with with lotto i just feel like lotto was it worth it did you really want to go against nikki the way you did when again cardi b is not a pop and rapper right now she's falling apart she doesn't have any tour dates she doesn't have any solo music coming out her last solo song was a stolen song from another artist and atlantic isn't putting any more money into cardi like she's completely fallen off she's surviving off of features in internet drama and she's doing features with lesser known regional local damn near artist like I feel like Lotto you're kind of hustling backwards you went against Nikki for what you're getting with 21 Savage for what you did a collab with uh Cardi B for what I just feel like it's a lot of moves being made that she wants to take her far but that are having the opposite effect I just don't understand like what her or her team are thinking and again Lotto is so desperate the industry can get Lotto to do anything they got this fool to sit up there and shuck and jive in a fucking ladybug fucking costume for fucking big energy looking like a whole ass fluffy ass fool and that video really let me know I was laughing the whole fucking way I was like this lets me know that you will literally do anything they can get you to eat shit nothing that you won't do lotto i actually think before all of this bullshit popped off with lotto i think mainly her signing to rca records is when i started seeing like a big difference in her behavior i liked her somewhat back when she was independent because i felt like she that's the last time we really have seen her with her own swag her own thing going on i feel like there's a night and day difference between pre-rca lotto and rca lotto i notice her again way more industry gimmicks way more antics way more fuckery and it's really sad i think um i'm i think i'm sick of her 
I'm sick of her black scent. I'm sick of her in this tired ass PR relationship. I'm sick of her clout chasing and trying to kick up mess everywhere she goes. You know, her with the bullshit on stage. I'm gonna beat your ass. It's like Lotto, you try too hard. You know, I think Lotto does have a southern drawl and accent. I really do. I've heard her speak before she signed to RCA Records. I do believe she has an accent, a southern accent, but I think that she does too much to try to sound like somebody that she's not. I think she does too much. A lot of people in the game have accents, and it's okay that Lotto is mixed and from ATL with an accent, but it's a problem when you do the most and try to act like somebody that you're not. I think she's unique enough. She's mixed. She's a rapper from Atlanta. I don't know anybody else in the game that is like Lotto. So it's like, just be yourself. Stop trying to compete with Ice Spice. She's from New York. She does drill music. She's got her own swag. You know, just be you. Stop letting labels, like, try to change you. Like, just be you. You're unique enough. Do your own thing. You should be laying low and trying to focus on making your music better rather than running around being 21 averages um, PR concubine. I don't know if she can. So I just don't understand it. I'm really not getting it. Um, I think the mystery is really great because it keeps up the conversation. It adds press. It adds media attention. But is it really helping her sell records? I don't know. I don't think so. I think this is really all going to fall back on her in the end. And I don't really see her lasting long in the industry because I think people are already getting tired of antics. People are already getting tired of her. And she's turned a lot of people off with being a home wrecker. And Nicki Minaj is a international artist. Lotto is not. You've gone against somebody that has a cult following. Um like like that of Beyonce's people fucking go hard for Nicki Minaj like you've gone against somebody that is a legend in the industry an icon in pop culture and an international artist with a major fan base you you just you keep fucking up and now you're biting Ice Spice who is successful she's an industry plant she's chosen as she's told us how can she lose when she's already chose you you trying to copy her and bite her it's like lotto you keep making poor choices and that's why nikki said you know you're struggling to get to the top on some hike shit because you are you want to be on top so bad but you're struggling and you keep jacking people like the fucking ripper so i don't understand you sis i don't know i think this is all gonna just I just don't see it for Lotto. I really, really don't. I think she's making bad choices, and I don't think she really loves 21 Savage. Please don't buy into that, you guys. I think that is all PR and stunts. Let me know what y'all think. Let's talk in the comments. I love y'all's opinions. See y'all in the next one. Bye.